this is what I do love doing. This is what I need to be doing, but I want to find someone to do it with me now. Have you? I'm working on it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm working on it. Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Tyler Cameron. Check out my new show, Going Home with Tyler Cameron, where I take on home renovations. It is out right now, live, all eight episodes on Prime Video. Tyler Cameron, welcome to Now This. Thank you so much for being here. Of course, excited to be here. Your show, Going Home with Tyler Cameron, is coming out soon. By the time this is out, it will be out. And talk to me about how long it took to get the show where it is today, because this was a long time in the making. Yeah, so this was like four years, really, in, in all of making. We were conceptualizing the idea. We finally pitched it. We're getting ready to shoot the sizzle reel. Sadly, my mom passed away right before that, so then we had to postpone it. And then COVID happened, postponed it again. And then I was like, well, we gotta do something. And me and my boys just shot the sizzle reel ourselves and we ended up selling it. And uh, it was epic. I got my you know, friends, family involved and, and then the filming process was a beast too. I mean, it's seven months to film and renovate nine homes in seven months is a lot. And uh, it took a village to do it. Yeah, talk to me a little bit about what people are gonna see in this show. What is going home with Tyler Cameron? Yeah, so I think it's fun. You get a great hybrid of a home reno show mixed with a reality show. You get a, like a docu-follow. So, you know, you get your befores in the beginning of the show like you do in typical home reno shows. But in the middle, you get to see more of a docu-follow, follow my life, follow what's going on. And then in the afters, you get the reveals and all that. So I'm excited. It's going to be a fun show. It's upbeat, beautiful reveals. The team did a fantastic job. Jess, Rob, I'm just very excited for everyone to see it. Yeah, what did you like the most about the process of this show? Did you have a favorite renovation? The, 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 the best part of it all is the reveal because it is so much work and it's so hard and it's late nights, early morning. I mean, when it's getting ready for a reveal, it's like three, three, four in the morning every night for like three days leading up to it. And you're waking up at 7 a.m. to do it all over again. So, I mean, you're, just, you're dying, you're in pain, but once you get them to that door, it all kind of goes away, you get excited, and then you bring them through and just to see their reactions and see people cry and the joy, it's, it's, it's like, ah, okay, it was worth it. It was really worth it. Yeah, there are definitely a few that literally are kind of, it's that jaw on the floor sort of moment just watching it. So I can't even imagine yeah. walking in and that's your new home. And that's got to be so satisfying, not only for the people who get to live there, but for you guys who all work there. Yeah, and I even got a taste of that. You know, I helped renovate my mom's home on the show and you'll get to see it, but they kick me out when it's time to decorate it. And that was cool to kind of get the reveal and walk through it all. And, and I mean, it brought me to tears, you know, to see my childhood home turn into such a beautiful space again. Yeah, and I mean, just as much as the show is about renovation and construction, it's also about community, it's about family, it's about friends. Yep. What did it mean to you and what did you learn through doing this show, not just by doing the actual construction, but to do it with so many people who clearly mean so much to you? Yeah, I mean, it shows you how small of a community Jupiter is still. It's still a little small boat town, even though it's got a big name now, but uh, we still stick together, we still take care of each other. That's why I love being home. Once I got back home during COVID, I was like, oh, I'm not leaving. I'm here for good. Just because I'm surrounded by people with just this love and care for each other. And it gives me that home feeling again. It can be messy getting into business with friends, in some cases exes. I mean, how do you maintain a positive relationship even when things get tough? Because we do see things get tough in this show as well. Yeah, no, it's hard, you know, but I think when things get tough and then we get to that reveal, then we're able to be like, it's worth it. You know, you know, and we're able to kind of let the past be the past. And I don't know, those reveals kind of bring us together, just the joy and the happiness with, you know, the customers, with us. At the heart of the show is your mom. Yeah. Can you talk to me a little bit about her? What was she like? Yeah, uh, I mean, my mom was a rock. She was the rock for everybody. She took care of all of her friends, all of the family, everybody. She was the team mom everywhere we went. She just was such a huge light to, to so many people. And, um, you know, I think you'll see in the show with the gala, with the home reveal of her house, all the people that showed up because all those people my mom loved and they loved my mom. And uh, you, you see what kind of impact watching this show my mom had on the community. Yeah, I mean, I've never met your mom. Most of the people who watch the show never met your mom, but you watch it and you do feel her energy and you see how much she meant to people and how much people meant to her. And it, you do feel it through the screen. No, sure. I, I mean, I love to hear that. Yeah. I want to talk about, you know, her home turned house, turned back into a home. What was that like emotionally for you, letting some of the past go in a way, but also turning towards the future and still keeping her in your heart? Definitely. I mean, when my mom lived there, it was a home. We always felt, you know, like, like we had everything we needed there. And she always took great care of the house. I mean, she would be out there mowing the lawn. And like, I would try and do it. She'd be like, get the hell out of here. You don't do a good job, you know? 
And, uh, but, you know, she was always, always was a home cooked meal, always was there for you to talk through anything you ever needed. And then when she was gone, you know, it kind of went back to being a house and not a home and uh, became a wreck. Uh, just things started to fall apart. I wasn't really taking much care of it. I was kind of out and about and it meant so much to, to really take it all back, peel it back to its core and really rebuild the house that mom made, you know, and make it a home again. It was hard going through her stuff, going through our stuff as a child. Um, it took me, I mean, for, to be honest, six months, I couldn't go into a room, you know? And so then to have to go through there, all the furniture and pull it all out and all the clothes and all the memories, you know, we made sure that when we did rebuild the house that we found ways to honor her. You know, she loved her cowgirl boots and her hats and we, we you know, we built an alcove out in front of her bedroom and we made a way to honor her in there. And, you know, I planted the tree in the front yard with her ashes and it's a butterfly tree because butterflies remind me of her. Um, and we built the outdoor space that she always wanted, the pool, the outdoor entertaining area, the grills, all that, the bar. Uh, we really made it how mom would have wanted it. What do you think she would have been thinking? Watching you not only tear down the place and spray paint the walls, but to see that big reveal party too. Yeah, no, I think um, she would have been proud. That was the hardest part was, I'm supposed to be giving her these keys, you know, and uh, to not be able to give her those keys was definitely a really painful feeling. It was like, it made it bittersweet. It was sweet because it was so great, but bitter because she's not here. Um, but, you know, me and my brothers have a simple saying, make mama proud. And that's how we try to keep pushing forward. But I think she would have been so proud and so excited. And I would have just loved to see her live in this house. You know, we would have been there all the time for, for meals and all that fun. But uh, we definitely miss her and miss her in that house. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I think when you lose anyone you love, it's, you're never not gonna feel that loss. You're mm -hmm. never gonna stop missing them. But yeah. it's kind of, you know, the way that we keep living with them in our hearts and them in our minds yeah. makes it so you don't stop feeling their presence either. And in a way she does kind of still live in that. Home. Exactly, I mean, I feel like the home is kind of what is now keeping her alive. Between the home and the foundation, you know, we do a great job of honoring her and keeping her alive. And, you know, every time I drive by the house and I see the, the butterfly tree kind of tilted, I go back and I, you know, get it back straight. And because I want, uh, that thing's gotta live. That thing's gotta, you know, live on. And that now means so much to me. So uh, it's, it's definitely a way of honoring her and keeping her light on and keeping her living on. Absolutely. and. Throughout this show, I mean, you renovate for families with kids, you renovate for couples, for single people. What have you learned about yourself and what you might want for the future by doing this for so many people in so many different stages of yeah, life? Yeah, I got to meet so many amazing families and, and great couples and, you know, Theo and Ashley inspire me. John, John and Sonny with all their kids and the chaos, you know, that ensues with them inspire me and Holly and Michelle and the way their marriage and dynamic, it's just, it is special and this show and being back home and putting all this responsibility on my plate has taught me that like, this is what I do love doing. This is what I need to be doing, but I want to find someone to do it with me now. Yeah. Have you? I'm working on it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm working on it. Um, so I do want to take it back to the bachelorette really quickly. When you first stepped out of that limo, did you ever think that one day it would lead you here? No shot. No shot. I mean, I was just a guy going for some free beer and to meet a girl, you know, yeah. I was ready to have some fun. That's all it really was. And I, th I think, you know, just, by always having fun with it has allowed me to get here. I never really try to be anything that I'm not. What you get is what you see. And you know, I think that's been my recipe to, to get to this point. Just have fun with what's in front of you and just dive in. I've got to say, one of my favorite parts of watching the show is seeing Harley and all the interview oh. clips with you because you're here talking about your passion and she's falling asleep. She's scratching an itch. She's yawning. I mean, she's just she's, so cute. She's just <laughs> in her own world. Yeah, no, she. I mean, she's the best. And like, that's what she does. She just sits by me. I like, ever since I got her, like, you see this rug that we're on? I, I took her to the beach the first day. She wouldn't leave this rug. Like, she just always felt the way to protect me and be around me. And I, I go hop on the couch. She hops on the couch with me and, and she just chills all day with me. She's the best. You got a little Velcro dog. I, I really do. I really do. <laughs> That's so cool. Now, I, where do you see Image One and where do you see yourself in, in five years? Five years, you know, I would love for Image One to keep growing as a brand and, and keep, you know, keep renovating and keep building new homes, maybe get into developing some. I would love to get like my own little bar in Jupiter. Okay. I like to have fun and throw right. it down. I would now. go to Tyler Cameron's bar Come for on. sure. So I, I would like to do a fun bar. Um, I would love to, you know, just keep building out my foundation and hopefully five years I got a kid. I need a kid. You know, hopefully I'm married, have a kid. So, because my 10 year plan, I want to be a high school football coach and quit it all. So.
You're a hometown boy. I'm a hometown boy. I mean, boy. you see it in the show. I hear it talking to you now. It's It seems yeah. like it's the best fit for you, and you're really it love is. what you're doing. It is. That. Jupiter is where I'm supposed to be. It's my peace. It's my sanctuary. New York's my fun, so I'll, I'll still come and get away and have fun here. But, but really, Jupiter is where I want to be and, and grow my family and my business, all that. Now, if you were to get a season two, mm -hmm. are you going to do another fake OnlyFans promo for that one, too? <laughs> we're going to we're gonna have to you know, take it to another level. I mean, how do you top that? I don't know. We got to get creative. We got to go back to the drawing board. I mean, you guys are creative. I'll come here and, and game plan with you guys. There you go. A real OnlyFans? <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Well, that'll, if I get a real OnlyFans, that might ruin my chances of being a high school football coach. You know, it's a fair point. Yeah. It's a fair point. But I, I did think that was a genius marketing. Definitely knew your audience with that one. Yeah, yeah. That was, that was great. Is there anyone from Bachelor Nation that you'd like to see in the future on working on this show in some capacity or in, with Image One in some capacity? I thought Hannah did a great job. She did. Would love to have her come on and design some more. Matt just bought a house in Jupiter. Maybe he needs some, some renovations, some upgrades. You know, if, if Joey and Kelsey want to come move down or Jen yeah. Tran and her new man want to come move down. There like, we, go. we need some more Florida people. You know, it's better down, you know, down in South Florida. It's, it's, good, it's good life.